Welcome back to the Community Corner Podcast, where we explore the companies in the S500 through the lens of behavioral finance. I'm Arnav. And I'm Mikhil. Today, we're diving into Visa, the global leader in digital payments, known for its extensive network and innovative financial solutions. We'll be discussing how behavioral finance impacts their decision-making, diversity and inclusion efforts, adaptation to different markets, and how they compare to other companies in the industry. Let's get started. Visa has built an incredibly strong brand and network in the payments industry. But from a behavioral finance perspective, how do biases like the status quo bias and anchoring influence their decision making, especially in areas like product development and market expansion? Status quo bias is particularly relevant to Visa's business strategy. The company has a dominant position in the payments industry, which can lead to a preference for maintaining existing systems and processes rather than pursuing radical changes. This can be seen in their gradual approach to adopting new technologies like blockchain, where they focus on incremental improvements to their existing network rather than entirely disrupting the market. Anchoring also plays a role in their pricing strategy and market positioning. Visa's established pricing models and fee structures serve as an anchor, making it challenging for competitors to undercut them without offering significantly different value propositions. And this conservative approach has allowed Visa to maintain its leadership position in a rapidly changing industry. Investors often see Visa as a stable, reliable investment, which has contributed to its strong stock performance over the years. Exactly. Visa's stability and consistent performance make it a favorite among investors looking for steady returns. However, this approach also means they may be slower to adopt or capitalize on disruptive technologies compared to more agile competitors, which could be a potential risk in the long term. Let's talk about diversity, equity, and inclusion at Visa. The financial industry has been under pressure to improve DDI, and Visa has taken steps in this direction. How does this intersect with behavioral finance? Visa's approach to DEI is an important part of its corporate strategy, especially in an industry that serves a global and diverse customer base. From a behavioral finance perspective, their DEI initiatives can be seen as a way to foster a more inclusive corporate culture, which can enhance decision-making by bringing in diverse perspectives. This diversity is crucial for innovation, especially as Visa expands into new markets and develops products for a global audience. For investors, a strong commitment to DEI can signal that Visa is aligned with modern social values, which can enhance its reputation and make it more attractive to socially conscious investors. Investors are increasingly considering DEI when making investment decisions, and for a company like Visa, which operates on a global scale, strong DEI practices are not just about compliance, they are about staying competitive in a diverse and evolving market. That's right. Visa's commitment to DEI isn't just about doing the right thing, it's also about driving business success. By fostering an inclusive culture, Visa can attract top talent, innovate more effectively, and better serve a diverse customer base, all of which contribute to long-term growth. Speaking of global markets, Visa operates in over 200 countries and territories, each with its own regulatory and economic environment. How does the company adapt to these different markets, and what role does behavioral finance play in this? Visa's ability to adapt to different markets is critical to its success as a global payments leader. From a behavioral finance perspective, Visa's strategy involves understanding local consumer behaviors and regulatory environments to tailor their services to meet specific needs. This adaptability allows them to manage risks and seize opportunities in both developed and emerging markets. For example, in regions with lower credit card penetration, Visa might focus on mobile payments or prepaid cards to better align with local consumer habits. This approach helps Visa maintain its leadership position while expanding its reach and relevance in diverse markets. 
And this adaptability is essential, especially as Visa faces competition from local payment solutions and fintech startups. Their ability to stay relevant and continue growing in various markets is a key factor in their global success. Exactly. Visa's focus on localizing their services while maintaining a consistent global brand is one of their strengths. However, it also requires them to be proactive in responding to changes in technology, consumer preferences, and regulatory frameworks around the world. Now, let's compare Visa to other companies in the payments industry, like MasterCard, PayPal, and Square. How do the behavioral finance dynamics differ? Visa's dynamics are often compared to MasterCard as both companies dominate the global payments industry with similar business models. However, Visa's larger scale and conservative approach tend to attract more risk-averse investors who value stability and steady growth. MasterCard, while similar, often emphasizes innovation and partnerships slightly more aggressively, which can attract investors looking for growth. PayPal and Square, on the other hand, are more focused on digital and mobile payments, which appeals to investors who are interested in fintech and disruptive technologies. These companies often experience more volatility but also offer higher growth potential. Visa's behavioral finance dynamics are shaped by its reputation as a stable, reliable investment with a strong brand and global reach, which makes it a preferred choice for long-term investors. And unlike PayPal and Square, which are more exposed to the volatility of the fintech space, Visa's established network and global presence offer a level of stability that appeals to a different type of investor. Absolutely. Each of these companies has its own behavioral finance dynamics that influence how investors perceive their value and potential risks. For Visa, the focus on stability, global reach, and a measured approach to innovation provides a unique value proposition in the payments industry. To sum up, Visa's approach to business is deeply influenced by behavioral finance principles whether it's through their strategy for global expansion, their approach to DEI, or their ability to adapt to changing market conditions. But like all companies, they are still subject to the biases and perceptions that can influence investor behavior. That's right. Understanding these dynamics provides a clearer picture of what drives Visa's stock price and where the potential risks and rewards lie. Thanks for joining us on this episode of the Community Corner Podcast. Until next time, I'm Arnav. And I'm Nikhil. Stay curious and keep questioning the narratives.